Hey, what's up there, amigos, amichis, compadres, and friends? Yes, it's me, the one and only Elton McFall, the eccentric, the weird, and oftentimes misunderstood. Such as my being a vulgarian, for example. Fuck. Anyway, uh, so, um, yeah. I started drawing on the next project here, following the Christine 50 Clement Belvedere, which I'm going to soon put on eBay, by the way. I don't know for how much, frankly. I mean, uh, you know, a lot of work involved there. The only thing, actually, that um, I wasn't thrilled about that I didn't do on this was the, um, was the fact that the car itself is not centered. You can see it's more towards the top. So, uh, yeah, I wasn't like, you know, wasn't too um, thrilled about that, but it's not a big deal. Anyway, so on to the new project, the, um, let me focus here. There we go. Yeah, the, uh, how should I say, the uh, New Jersey Central Norfolk Southern Train. I, I, I don't know, I'm going to have a hard... I was even thinking before I started drawing this thing, like, how am I going to title this, you know? And and here's the picture in question here. This is for, a, well, let's say a client, you know. Uh, well, I guess you could say he's a friend. He's a faithful subscriber, like so many of you out there. Yeah, it's a uh, Jersey Central Lions locomotive. I believe that's a heritage unit. And although I asked with Ben what the hell were these locomotives before, I always seem to forget what the hell they're called. Yeah, this long ass name. All I remember is it's an EMD um, SD seventy something something. Yeah. So anyway, so that's the picture the guy took. Oh, I guess he took it and he sent it to me. Uh, but what's up, Joe? How you doing, man? And uh, a man true to his word, like me, because uh, you know, uh, as uh, Tony Montana once said, you know, if a man don't have his balls, he's shit. You know. Um, no, that's not what he said. Anyway, whatever. Uh, so, you know, he sent me a down payment, 100 bucks, and uh, I asked him, he asked me how much this would be. I said, well, you know, like the other same size paintings, like the limo, the Peter built, the subway, it's like 650, you know. And, um, US, by the way. And, uh, yeah, come to think of it, speaking of which, one of my fellow subscribers, I think it was Richard, he mentioned, they looked at the video I did of the finished product of the Christine, and he said, you know what, he said, that's a thousand dollar painting. And you know what, I thought about that, I've been noodling that for a while, and I'm like, he's absolutely right. I've always had a bad tendency to undersell my, my work, you know? I guess it's because I, I like to price things to sell, but unfortunately, as well, is that this is Quebec and people are poor, man. You know, I mean, especially compared to, uh, you know, Americans, for example, or Torontonians, or people in Vancouver. By the way, uh, here's a fact the cheapest people in Canada are people from Saskatchewan. Anyway, back to business here. Battery in the red. Um, yeah, so this has uh, been uh, fun and also challenging at the same time just to draw these locomotives. Uh, you can see they're pretty much done. Whatever you see is not there, such as the, uh, you know, the writing and all those, the handlebars and everything, all the details in the trucks. Well, that's because it's not necessary, really. That kind of, you know, that's going to be added when I've done, you know, when I'm doing the painting, like when I've done all the, the background for the wheels, and then you add all these little sprockets and shit. And, and actually, come to think of it, let's talk about that for a moment. The hardest thing to draw on this, and it's going to be the hardest thing to paint, is those fucking trucks, frankly. It's gonna, as you can see, there's so much detail on these EMDs. I mean, just the front, um, uh, the front here. Uh, forget about the plow, but just behind that, there's gonna be a lot of work to do. Look at all the lines and the shadowing, and oh my god, and all these compartments for the engine, and fuck, it's gonna be a ton of work. Uh, Norfolk Southern, same thing. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll show, I don't know if you can see here, but. The picture, for some reason, when you when you zoom in on it, it's not. The trucks are not clear, and I might, if worst case scenario, I'm gonna have to find another photo uh, of 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 a trucks like these to uh, do for the painting. Now I want to point something out. I was mentioning the mistake I made in not centering the plummet. Now that I am aware, and this is specifically for Joe here, that. Uh, 
if you look at the angle that I'm using here, right, of the paint, the picture you have here, right, if you look at my angle, let me back up here a bit, right, the locomotives, everything is pretty much a proportion, and when they're painted, it's going to be kick-ass, right, it's going to be very cool to see, but you can see that um, this is, you know, this is a defect I have, uh, I think it's actually due to my stigmatism with my eyesight, because, let, let me, now, let me compare it here, um, okay, you see the new look here, right? You see the angle it has, like the, the way the photo I took it back in the day in the 90s, and you see how like things get smaller quickly. I don't know, how, and, and here it's just, it's not like that, okay? Uh, well, uh, and here again, you know, that's, these are the kind of angles. They are really, they've always been very hard for me to draw or paint, frankly. Very, very difficult. Uh, my friend Ben, for example, he can do it. I'll give you, I'll sh let me show you here. See, when I, I, I bought this drawing he did years ago of this OC Transpo GMC New Look, and I framed it myself, I'm happy to say. And uh, he, he, he has a better, uh, an easier time to do that kind of an angle on a vehicle, regardless of the vehicle. But you know what? So what? It doesn't matter because when this painting is going to be done, it's going to be fucking amazing. And, and uh, you know, there's going to be this really nice fade on the blue sky in the background. Uh, Joseph, I'd like to leave you, leave you to leave me a comment, please, when you see this. Do you want those beams there or not? You know, because, I mean, it's up to you, eh? And uh, what's also going to be hard, too, not the tracks, but the gravel. All the gravel, all the little fucking rock. I'm going to have to figure out a way to do that. That's gonna, not going to be easy. And then, there's, of course, there's those bushes, too. That's, again, it's all detail and it's all relative. Um, but, you know, I, I'm excited about it. Tomorrow they're calling for showers, so it's going to be a perfect day to spend a lot of time on this. Um, and uh, I think I've already blown more than a couple hours just drawing this. It's hard to believe, but it's true, you know. Um, and so, uh, Joe, again, I want to thank you for believing in me and being a man of your word and sending me a down payment because it's like I was saying, you know, people are full of shit today. And if by any chance, man, you, you know, you know anybody uh, who wants to have something done for them well you know no problem i also found a video that shows how to properly uh, pack paintings so they don't get damaged in transit so that uh, what's going to happen with this or anything else i sell it goes far away i'm going to buy these thick uh, they're kind of like bristol boards kind of like a foam and you cut them to size and you put them overlap and you know, with cardboards and everything it's going to be uh, just perfect uh cost to ship this i don't know Frankly, I was going to go with UPS like you had suggested, Joe, but I had a friend who worked for them and uh, he didn't really have anything good to say. And I don't think they're the, they're the best shipping company. And my father always said you pay for what you get, but uh, not always. You know, not today anyway. And I'm going to have to fix those vents. I think they're too big. I just noticed it. But yeah, it's going to be really, really cool. And um, yeah, you know what? I wanted to show you guys something actually show you how I come a long way in drawing. I was I almost forgot. I'm glad I thought about this, but I have a I have this book, right? That uh where is it? Fuck. Where is the damn thing? It's um I can see I have many, many books, eh? Where the fuck is it? It's a book. Ah oh, shit, where is it? It's a book that my uncle Brian gave me when I was seven after for my first communion. And I did a whole bunch of drawings in it, you know? And uh, and there's a locomotive in there. It's not finished, but like it's rough, you know. I don't know. I did it when I was like 10, 11, or something. Ah, damn it! Where the hell did I put that book? Ah, Scheiser. Hey, whatever. Yeah, it's it was just uh, that's probably here somewhere. Well, whatever. If I find it, I'll include it in the part two. So anyway, guys, that's about it. Uh, you know, if you hope you're, uh, that's for sale, by the way, that's from 1961, that's a uh, Montreal Transportation Commission uh, uh, piece, uh, 100 years, yeah, very cool, Canadian car uh, brill there, well, I don't know if it was a brill, but they weren't very good buses, but still very cool, and uh, somebody gives me the right price for that, I'll sell it, you know, say, uh, well, closest offer to 80. Anyway, that's it, guys. So you take it easy and talk to you later. Ciao, ciao.